one from him, so... That seems like Gear and Marco as, as a soldier combination doing absolutely perfectly. It uh, yeah. does look like Stefan manages to get the second point. Very uh, very good work by him right there. Wow. That's managed to get taken out there. Extreme work. Let's see, what is Epsilon going to do? Are they off to defend this? I think they are. Our control point. Look at the confidence Blades playing with the... It's uh, definitely certain that Blight is not going to give up the yard, at least, uh, as, as quickly. But I don't think they know they have a 30% reward disadvantage. And look at this point, look at this point, look where Blight is staying. I think Ronnie realized it right now, but they were in this position last time and they got cut off. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Blight just needs to make sure that that does not happen right now. And it's, uh, it seems like they managed to retreat safely uh, before actually getting it, getting trapped by the Uber from F2 once again. And it seems like Ronnie right now, a 95% Uber, is going to manage to get this. But uh, yeah, the, the momentum is pretty much with Epsilon right now. But Blight is not looking to fall back anytime soon. Well, I'm watching Sneeze for a little bit. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how well he's playing. Actually, I could have a look at the scores. I think in, in general, uh, you can see it, this is uh, a very passive game in general from both teams. And uh, once again, both teams not really push. And uh, we can see that basically on the scores as well. If a medic is on 80 points and the next one on your team is on 20, that pretty much says it all. The medics obviously get points for just healing. Seems like F2 right now is obliged actually going with his team. Nobody has died yet. Now Cube has died. Gear getting a perfect frag in there. And uh, now, once again, the uber timing absolutely perfect from Ronnie. But the team was a bit too much spread out. Seems like uh, Havoc now getting a kill there on Shintas. And it's 4v4. Let's see, is Epsilon gonna be able to, is Epsilon gonna push this? I don't know. I think that frag on Havoc might trigger a push. Ha! Huh. Interesting, I've just tried to add the server they're playing on into the server browser list. Um, That's impossible. I think. Think. No no, I think it's possible, uh, but it's not responding. Which leads me to believe someone's probably trying to attack it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and failing uh, miserably. So uh, GG, probably failing miserably, both teams are still playing. Good to you, uh, attacker, if you're listening to this right now. Fuck you. And uh, there the we go. Ass, if necessary. <laughs> and it seems like uh, the game is just going on. And, uh, now Epsilon is going to have to super. And they took the middle point, so Epsilon is going to be the team with the momentum right now. Ronnie has to build really quickly here. Ronnie could be out of position. 95%, and they're not going to be able to defend this. Completely out of position. Forgot to build for about two seconds, and uh, immediately we're behind. Yeah, um, my best mate in the entire world, uh, Mark, pretty much that has just pointed out to me that Cube's got one kill. Yep. And it was quite yeah. a while when he rejo since he rejoined. I don't think Cube crashed at all, I think Snaze crashed. So, what the uh, fuck's he playing at then? Uh, yeah, that's what I say. Cube is a roaming soldier. That's that's the point I tried to make earlier. Uh, Cube is a roaming soldier, and it really seems like he does not get Ronnie down at all. He's been trying the entire game. He doesn't manage. Uh, obviously, he, he might have eaten a bit too much during New Year's and the holidays in general, and everyone is still a bit rusty uh, after the holidays. But it seems like Blight straight on on the ball, sharp as they can be, and uh, they might not be playing perfectly so far, but they seem to be playing completely fine considering they probably had like a week or so off. Nevertheless, one kill in 25 minutes. No, I can't be right. Surely. Have, well, I, missed, uh, have, I, have I missed something here? No, 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 it's actually true. And uh, Q is just not really... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not saying he's making terrible choices or anything, but it seems like he is just not able to get Ronnie at all. He, he's just not being able to. And, uh, well, we can see I right now, in this stable situation we have... I, uh, sorry, I have to cut, cut you off there, Shocks. Uh, we can see Shintas going spy, so it's going to be very interesting to see if he actually gets a pick, sees Ronnie already has the Uber, and knows his own team doesn't. I think Shintas is going for the back cap instead of a instead of a spy cap, and uh, instead he does get spotted by Havok, who was going for some health. So uh, that spy is not going to be able to do anything, and I think Blight is going to be able to push here. And, uh, yep, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, if in 25 minutes, if you'd managed a grand total of one kill, uh, I would have thought sometime between, well, sometime up to that point, you might have considered doing something slightly different. No, it's a roaming soldier. If Doran gets one kill and I fortify and all, you can't actually blame him because he's doing what he has to do. 
And uh, we can see right now, by the way, Epsilon getting completely caught off guard. Seems like F2 is not going to be able to make it either. It doesn't actually get a frag and gets a couple of shots in uh, with his needle gun. But now with both scouts alive, Shintas getting one kill. And Shintas and JH are going to see what they're going to be able to do. But it doesn't look like it. Two soldiers on one side. Shintas trying to run for his life. Are they going to be able to get that scout? They should do. They should do. Not getting the scout so far. And it seems like Shintas uh, completely caught, uh, caught off right now. And uh, there we go. Cube going his, uh, going his spy action, which he is so famous for. Shout out to Turbo, I'm thinking uh, Sauce TV chat goes to the game server. <laughs> oh, <that's it. laughs> we can see uh, Ronnie now actually with 50% uber advantage shocks, and uh, that's pretty huge. Are I don't care, let's Turbo. <laughs> we can uh, see F2 running crits here. Jesus, shocks are uh, bringing me off my game right here. <laughs> we can see uh, we can see F2 actually running uh, on 80% crits right now. I'm not completely sure why they are running crits, but uh, should be perfectly fine if they actually get this off. But let's see, what is F2 going to do with this crits? F2 needs to run F2 crits, but it's not going to have any use at all. Uh, uh, JH actually getting a kill on Havoc, which is pretty impressive. And now JH is going to be able to sit on the back cap, but Bright got loads of people now on the second point. And with if, only two um, minutes remaining, ooh. if Blight are clever now, they'll sit back, they'll charge you, they're knowing full well that F2 hasn't died and does still have crits. Slow push it, force the um, force the crits, do Uber back on top of him, win the point and win the game. Seems like Blight is just uh, gonna ignore everything you just said, they're just gonna go balls out, ultimate point, and they're actually gonna be able to make it. There we go, 2 1 to Blight! And with two minutes remaining, it is possible, but Epsilon needs to get a miracle round out here. Oh, and, fair, uh, play, fair play to Blight. We might be able to look for for a bit of an upset because Epsilon, uh, whether they want it or not, favorites they are because they've pretty much won everything over the, the past uh, fuck knows how long. And uh, but Blight, the favorite in Wireplay, they were up top in the brackets in Wireplay. Epsilon was not. So uh, if Blight wins this map, it, it, essentially they've already won. Uh, they've won the league. But uh, obviously, you want to beat every single one. You want to be uh, going home without a map loss. Blight it seems not even like Blight not pushing to middle, and uh, yeah, Cube, that's the way um, to do it. Interestingly, Cube successfully equalized CB3, which is probably the most useful thing he's done all map. <laughs> and uh, we can see Blight now getting the frags in. This is, uh, F2's down. F2 is down. Cube's this is going to clean up the push. Cube's and this means again. that. Uh, Blight is going to take the first map, pretty much. Until there's some miracle backup going on now uh, by no. Shintas and JH, but I think Blight's going to be able be. to stay on the ball. Oh, uh, man of the match, because this is over, let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest, this is, uh, is going to be over. Um, gear. Well, Definitely my, gear. mine would have been, it would have been Gear and Marco, probably. Uh, just purely because as a soldier combo, they've done wonders keeping Ronnie alive. I don't think Ronnie has more than five deaths this map. Uh, I don't think he has at all. Seems it's got to be something around that. Yeah, it's got to be more or less around the five deaths. But in a Premier League game uh, on Granary, the most the, one of the most played maps apart from Badlands, it really seems like uh, if if Cube, one of the best roaming soldiers out there, if you have seen his movie, please. If you haven't seen his movie, watch his movie. Oh, there's, it's there's, absolutely amazing. He's so good. Uh, there's if no he dispute doesn't, in the fact that Cube's awesome. Um, I if just he can't get Ronnie down, what he's doing. if he if he just can't get Ronnie down, that's really uh, just congratulations to Blythe for being able to manage that. And, uh, it's not just that. He, he was in some really strange positions, Pledge. Yeah. Really strange positions. I saw him push right side on CP3 um, about 15-20 seconds before um, the rest of the team pushed, and he just died to rocket spam and demo spam. I, I really don't know what he was playing at. I imagine after a while he must have just got really frustrated. Yep. Just really fucking pig sick of it. Yep, and uh, with those words, Shocks, that's pretty much going to round up the uh, VOD part from this cost so far. It was the first map, Granary, in the Wireplay Division 1 final match between Blight Gaming and Absolute Esports. Blight Gaming took it 2-1 in a very passive but interesting game tactically. We're going to be looking uh, to uh, some more, more, yeah, I don't know, action-packed battles. Uh, see you soon. This was TF2 TV, and uh, thank you very much for joining us.